A very warm welcome to you from the beautiful King Craig Castle Hotel just outside Invergordon in Rorschach. Thanks for clicking on to the Monday edition of Vogan's European Outlook. It's a special edition today, of course. It is the release of the summer 2023 forecast. I've spent the last couple of months really working hard at trying to decipher um, what the outcome potentially could be. Of course, the earth is generally warmer than it has been over the last 10 years or so. We've seen that warming trend continuing both in the oceans as well as the atmosphere, of course. We also have the development of the El Nino now taking place. Gone is the three-year La Nina, and now we have got a different driver in play as we progress through the next few months. It's not officially been declared yet, but we are getting there, of course. Is that going to have an impact on the upcoming summer season? That, of course, remains to be seen. Also taking into consideration the 12 to 18 months away from probably the, the likely peak of solar cycle 25, of course. Record warm sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic. Of course, we've also got a negative PDO as well as a positive AMO. All these things have to get taken into consideration, of course. Before we get into the video and continue, uh, please like, please share with your friends and family and do indeed hit that subscribe button. So, where are we going with summer 2023? For the month of June, I do believe that after seeing a fairly wet spring, temperatures for the UK and Ireland slightly around the average, maybe slightly below average, and it has been a wetter overall spring. I believe that the soil moisture may have an impact on the atmosphere above and I think June is going to see an area of low pressure in the means it's somewhere kind of to the south or southwest of the British Isles higher than normal pressure further north so therefore I think June is going to be warmer and drier Scandinavia the northern half of the British Isles possibly average to slightly above average precipitation from the southern half of the British Isles down through France and Iberia, of course, a big turnaround to what we've seen, of course, last month in Spain and Portugal, of course. July, I think we may start to turn the upper air pattern around, where high pressure is dominant during the month of June. I think July may see lower than normal pressure between Scotland and Iceland, or thereabouts anyway, and therefore the most unsettled conditions and slightly cool conditions may be in play across the northern half of the British Isles and indeed Northern Ireland as well as the Republic of Ireland higher than normal pressure further south. For the month of August I think we will see low pressure relatively speaking in a dominant fashion so therefore cooler wetter than average conditions is possible as the El Nino becomes a little bit more established in the eastern portion of the Pacific Ocean. So I think we will see a hot spell during the month of July, but it will be a bit of a mixture back and forth, something similar to potentially what we've seen back in 2015. And we may even see some shades of 2012. Warmer than average sea surface temperatures may enhance the rainfall this summer. So don't be surprised if we see some local flash flood events in the upcoming summer season as well. That is something that needs to be considered. But this is a sneak preview of what has been uh, published on markhoganweather.com. So do indeed check that out. I will leave a, lim a link in the description below and uh, you will have a lot more detail with regards to the summer 2023 forecast. So it has been released. Check that out. And indeed, if you happen to be up uh, doing the North Coast 500, check out um, the King Craig Castle Hotel, a beautiful establishment, of course, and uh, I encourage you to visit if you can. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Monday, and I'll see you again hopefully tomorrow with more. Bye for now.